Well, this is the scary part. Now I start cutting. What I'm doing here is adding air ride to my gooseneck trailer. This is the air ride, it's a Rockwell suspension. Or ride well, I mean. And this is a kit you can buy from Ridewell for the uh, Big Tex gooseneck trailers. Not nearly done, but I'm getting really close. Can you dump the bag. All right, I finished with the uh, suspension today. I had to build my own type of uh, automatic load levelers for each side. This is a Ridewell suspension. It's built for big text trailers. This is a big text trailer. It's got five inch axle tubes and 12K axles. So I had to build my own leveling system. What I did was put a little glad uh, hand at the front. Uh, I ran a rod to the back that could swivel. And then the load leveler is hooked to the rod and it balances between the two axles. I have my dump valves, tank, everything set up. I have one way valve in the front. The truck is on air, so it doesn't matter. Uh, about the air tank. I am gonna install an air tank later, but not at this time. <clears throat> I did mount these. The instructions were not very good, but the way this came out to mount the tops, I had to mount it with the shocks to the outside. I'm running super singles, so I have plenty of room between there. I'm not sure that if you put duels on there that you'd be able to uh, put the shock to the outside but if I didn't turn it that way my airbags would not line up with the frame I did add the braces on the front it looked kind of weak so the frame did so I added the braces uh, when you're tightening these down this big pivot bolt there's a head on there Here's the head to them. It goes right there. And the instructions say 
you have to sit there and hit that with an impact until it breaks this head off. I've never seen that before, but that's what the instructions said. So therefore that's what I did. And uh, you have to use a T20 Torx. And I found one at O'Reilly's. I adapted it to the one inch impact. Uh, it wasn't a pretty adaption. I had to weld and make it work, but it did break the heads off of the bolts. I don't know, I guess that Torx will or something. So anyway, the air ride on the gooseneck trailer is done. I had to redo all the brake lines, the brake wires, because they ran them in the axles. And as I was welding, I had to uh, go through them. I burned them up. But anyway, I am going to put a, another compressor on it. And my next project for this trailer is to put an 8,000 pound pusher axle right there in front of those uh, boomers. I'm gonna put a steerable 8,000 pound pusher axle that goes on a truck, semi truck right there. I'm gonna strip it down, no brakes, uh, no air brakes, nothing like that. I got brakes on these axles, so I'm not too concerned about that. And I just wanna do it because this trailer's so long and because I think it'll look cool.